Mike. Stryker Bellman has come to see you. Oh, Stryker, Rena calls. She'll be here shortly. Alex, Dr. Douglas tells me you're feeling better. I think that's wonderful. He has to go down to therapy in a moment. I'll just be a moment. I just wanted to tell you Dennis has been released from jail. How did that happen? The charges have been reduced. Oh, Stryker, I am so grateful to you. All oh, this news makes me so happy. Well, it's not over yet, but at least he's out of jail. Well, where is he now? Uh, Elliot took him to the apartment. Well, I must go to him immediately. Calm down, Iris. Let Dennis get his bearings. Stryker, he's my son, and yes. he's just been released from jail. I know that, Iris, and I also know his state. And the last thing he needs right now is for you to upset him. Left alone, I don't know that I would ever have told you this. There would never be a right time to tell you. But Alex's condition is forcing my hand. What is it you're trying to say? Dennis. Alex Wheeler. Alex Wheeler is your father. Is this some kind of joke? Would that it were, Dennis. Would to God it were. I don't understand. What is there to understand? You're my father. No, I'm not. Stop saying that. Stop saying the truth. It can't be, Dad. It just can't be. Iris met Alex 25 years ago in Saint-Tropez. They were together three days. And then he left her. After that, she discovered she was going to have a child. Alex's child. That child is you. Hi, Paige. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Not a very enthusiastic greeting. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, no. And I, I don't really have time to visit. I'm sorry. I, I was on my way out. Going to visit your husband? Hi, Nina. Taco Express. I Hello, you. Elena. We meet again. What are you doing here? I came to get my money. What money? The money your friend Billy Joe took from me. Oh, oh. Nita, are you all right? Look, I, I, I oh. don't want to hurt anybody. Oh. I, I got my money and I'll leave. Nita. Look. Oh. Nita. Oh. 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 How often does uh, Alex have to go to therapy? Three times a day for an hour and a half each time. Quite a regimen. Yes. You were saying that I shouldn't visit my own son. Not for the time being. You're still angry with me because I talked to Paige about the divorce. Yes, I am, but this has nothing to do with it, Iris. Dennis just needs time to himself. Did he ask you to tell me not to visit him? No, I didn't discuss it with him. You said he was in a state. What do you mean by that? I should think he would be pleased to be out of jail. Well, that's the problem. He doesn't know how long he's going to be free. If the police can find the sailor and the sailor did kill Chris Shaw, then Dennis will be exonerated. If, uh, if not, he's going to have to go back to jail and... Uh, Serve a suspended sentence. Who knows? He's in limbo. He's very confused now. Is, uh, Paige at the apartment with him? <sighs> I don't know. I'd wager she is. Well, they are married. Not for long, I hope. It's more important than ever that Dennis be free of that woman. Iris, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Dennis and Paige need to work out their problems themselves. And what do you suggest I do? Wait, wait until Dennis calls you. That's my advice. All right, I'll follow your advice. Good. Suppose he doesn't call. He didn't want to see me when he was in jail. He will call. Maybe not today, but he will call. Now, how do we go about finding that sailor? We're staying out of it. We're going to let the police find him. Now, perhaps we can hire some private investigators. Iris, I'm not going to interfere with the police investigation. But, Stryker... Unless the police cannot find the sailor and need more manpower, then I'll consider hiring private investigators. I want Dennis exonerated. I will not allow him to spend one more minute in that awful jail. 
That's exactly what we all want, Iris. But it must be. With Alex improving, we have a chance to be a real family now. And I am not going to allow anybody or anything to stand in the way of that. As a matter of fact, I am going to see Dennis. I assume you do know he's out of jail. Yes, Elliot called just a short time ago. Well, it must be very pleased. Yes, I, uh, I am, of course. You must also feel a great deal of satisfaction in that, uh, well, you are at least partially responsible for his release. Oh, I can't take credit. Have you to thank for that. <laughs> I'm just sorry I didn't put two and two together sooner. Well, what matters is that you did. Um, I understand that Alex Wheeler is getting met. Oh, yes, I'd heard that too. Apparently he's beginning the use of his arm. I'm sorry, I don't know the exact details. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought maybe you'd uh, paid him a visit since, you know, he's for your father-in-law. I, I do feel guilty not having seen Alex more, you know. He's been awfully good to me. But things being what they are with my mother-in-law, a visit now just wouldn't be very comfortable. Why, surely Iris would relent a bit where Alex is concerned. Iris doesn't relent where anyone is concerned. <laughs> well, I guess you uh, don't know then whether Alex is talking again or not. No, I, I don't, although if he's recovering, I assume that would not be far off. I suppose you're right. Uh, look, I, I won't bother you anymore. Oh, uh, uh, if you want to wait, I'll go down with you. Oh. Okay, fine, sure. All right, right. I'll be right back. What are you trying to say? I'm saying I'm thinking of cutting you in on our... Cutting me in? You must be out of your mind. <laughs> no, I assure you I'm not. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I don't want any part of it. Why don't you think it over? I thought it over. And I want you out before I turn you in and call the police. Right now! Alex, you're a good businessman, and I think you'll see that I'm making you a very good offer. Get out! Get out! Don't you hear me? Get out! too much. 